Ken Kramer's About San Diego, the history and people of the area we call home. Here's Ken Kramer. Hi again, it is About San Diego, a collection of stories, brief little stories that tell us things you might not have known about San Diego. It's that. But right now, we are headed to Coronado, where you can sometimes see an old truck that seems to be very much at home on the streets there. And why would that be so? Take a look. This is the story of a cute little truck. See it here? 1920s, it used to come to your door, pick up and drop off laundry, take it to the Hotel Dell where there was a huge laundry that served the whole city. Of course, that was, what, 85 years ago? Coronado's a whole different place today. Can you imagine a truck like that on the road here now? Well, actually, here it is, the very same truck, lovingly restored, painted to be just as it was. Motoring it around town, Joe Dittler sometimes feels like a rock star. It's like driving an ice cream truck on a hot summer Sunday. The kids come out and scream and run alongside, the dogs bark, the parents come out and wave. It's just hysterical. And historical. This very same Model T truck, same one, was part of a big business. You wanted nice, clean, pressed clothes? Well, socks, two cents a pair to be laundered, up to dresses that might cost 50 cents or even more. <laughs> this old truck was working up in Alpine for a while, also served as a sort of mobile storage shed, but then it was restored and finally acquired by the Coronado Historical Society. I mean, this is where it belongs, right? Back in the community it was born to. You can't help but think she drove these same roads all those years ago, and now here she is again doing the very same thing. What a great truck, you know? It's like it knows these streets okay. by heart. Now, if you sometimes see it on the road, you'll know this story about San Diego. <laughs> Joe Dittler, who was driving that truck, is himself a Coronado historian and a man we first met when he was working for the Maritime Museum on the Star of India. So he lived in Coronado and he worked in San Diego. And so you'd think, well, you know, to commute from his job, he just drove over the bridge every day but not Joe. No, he had a little one-man boat and he would row back and forth across the bay. He'd row and tie up on the San Diego side. And I'm not sure with increased security if he could even do that anymore, but what a relaxing way to get to work and to work out. 